Well, hey folks, Species7 here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to our first map review for Farm Sim 17 in 2018. This is Sunshine Valley Farm by something on my shoe. I don't know what it is, but it smells funny. And uh, I've had a little wander around the map. It is very, very pretty map. Um, Having worked the sort of more industrial end of things here lately on our farm sim adventures, one tends to forget that this can indeed be a very, very nice to look at game. Um, there's a couple of weird sort of graphical glitches that go on with these buildings at certain angles. They tend to go just flat black, but uh, yeah, I don't know. It could be because I played pretty much with a potato. So here we go. This is your farm. Now this is one of those maps where your critters do not join you on the main farm. You can see we've got launch of storage. We have our silos here with the happy bouncing question mark to tell you that those, well those are our silos here. So, yeah. Hmm. Looks like you get a... Interesting. A tip point right below, possibly, your gather point. Okay. Well. I'm sure we can figure that out. Again, lots of storage. Now, these are not bunkers. Um, I thought they were. Oh, that's where I left all my spare shovels. But, uh, as we can see by the lack of HUD, they in fact are not. They are simply to do this with. Store things. So... Oh, maybe this one is... Eh, no. Alrighty, good enough. Over here, what's we got here? Hay sales. Getting rid of straw and hay. Alrighty. Easy enough. Small map. You can see by the equipment that you are given, you are dealing with sort of medium. Any, well, anywhere from small to medium would certainly run the map just fine. Door functions. Well, yes, they do. Get a little bit close, but there you go. This little shed hides our other tractor. Very nice. Oh, what you got behind you? Uh, plow. Is that a hint? All right. No seasons. No MR mod. Um, there are gold nuggets. In fact, there are gold nuggets everywhere. You basically can't take a step without <laughs> running into one. So, seeds. And over the opposite corner of the farm, we've got ferts. Da-da! At least I'm assuming that those work. Uh, yeah. Let's, uh, just to make sure I'm not leading you astray. I think I actually saw a little cedar around here. There it is. So yeah, when I asked about uh, continuing on the various farm sim series, there was a few of you that suggested, hey, you know, you used to do lots of map reviews and we kind of enjoyed them. So... Oh, this one only takes seeds. So that's not going to tell me if that's a fertilizer spot or not. <laughs> oh well. It, uh, we can assume, I think, that if this seed function works, that that fertilizer function will work. And there we go. So, we obviously have a seeder and a feeder. Very nice. So that's that building. We'll just let that fill up. We're never going to use it. And if we have a look at this one, oops. Ah, an empty shed. Hey, you gotta watch it. Those big steel doors, they'll just take your head off those things. La 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 la. Let's open all the buildings because we can. Alright. Appears to be just storage upon storage upon storage. Ah, excellent. So that, as I say, I guess you don't really need a whole bunch on the main farm, as long as you get a place to store your grains. Isn't this just the most hideous looking thing? I love it. There we go. Alright, let's go for a wee explorer, shall we? 
and we're gonna go for the giant panoramic view see what I mean about the buildings tend to kind of weird shadow themselves sometimes which is okay I mean that's just a probably a giant's thing I don't think it has anything to do with the map now one thing that I did notice let's uh, have a look at the the big picture you only own one field and our farm is here our field is way over here um so yeah you're not exactly sitting right on top of uh top of your field most of the fields as you can see are generally rectangular um there are exceptions but even those exceptions are going to be reasonably worker friendly well, reasonably you might have to, uh, you know, think about what corner of the field to start in. But beyond that, it looks pretty good. Uh, we have the standard fruit types. Yes, we do. Uh, hmm. Including sugarcane. Okay. Maybe that's just a standard on all maps now. And of course, not running seasons, it wouldn't matter because you'd have enough of a growing season. So, all right. Did they do anything nice to our, uh, not really, eh? Uh -huh. Okay. So, at least it is a completely blank and empty field. Moving along, we can see that we have a uh, farm barn. Ah, uh -huh. uh, I see. Really? Zero, zero, zero. Almost not worth adding that. Okay, so we've got our BGA, which does the usual thing. A couple of different grain yards. That seem to take pretty much everything. There is sales for sugarcane, so it is obviously a usable on this particular map. Um, what do we got? We've got a sawmill that takes... Uh, wood chips and wood chips <laughs> and then we've got the town factory yeah you'll notice we have only the very stock of stockist items on this map which I mean this is not a production map this is a farming map so we may not be used to that after our last little stint of things but there you go and then of course we do have the spinnery for wool which currently is uh, apparently a downed market at only $8,800 per, <laughs> per stack. So there we go. And there's what we've got for vehicles. As you can see, very little. Um, and I, of course, added the, uh, the Lizard flatbed truck. So, hmm, ooh, <laughs> third most expensive item we own, <laughs> actually. I did go a little greedy with it. So here we are, our production, as you can see, we don't, uh, I just bought them to show that they're there, so we're not going to end up with any sort of, uh, and then we're into the usual. So there you go, that's a look at the big picture. So not a ton of cell points, but you will notice from the map that there it's reasonably spread out, you know, reasonably spread out indeed. So, let's go have a look. As I said, one thing this map does give you a whole bunch of is pretty. Um, it looks good. It's on multiple levels. And there are a number. I think so far I've found four, I believe, of these. Areas where you're quite welcome to throw placeables. So, neat. Uh, let's head... And as you can see, we get some uh, interesting fields. Let's go have a look at field prices, shall we? Always a nice thing to know what you're saving up for. So, perfectly rectangular field, not very big. Let's have a look here. 47k, and it is, well, just over a half an hectare. Hmm. Nice. Well, that seems reasonable. So we're looking at about, you know, 75,000 a hectare. That's pretty good. Looks to be pretty good stuff. 
moving right along. Textures seem quite stock, um, which nothing wrong with that. There are actually some pretty nice textures in this game. Okay, I'll just wait for this fella to pass here. And we'll have a quick look at the sawmill since we're sort of, you know, there. Hmm. Ah, uh, okay. I was going to say I don't really want to drive down the train tracks because, you know, well, they're train tracks. Here you are. Again, fairly standard fare. A little bit of storage. Well, a lot of storage on this side. Put all your logging equipment. We've got our chip sales down here. Chip sales. Amazing. Another gold nugget. Ching ching. All right. And of course, we have our usual. This would be our log sales. Log sales. And this would be the apparently non functional information point. <laughs> but yeah, that would of course be our crane for loading the train. And that's about her. Obviously not a uh, Meruvian style sawmill, just your basic FS-17 gizmo. Again, that's fine. And uh, like I said, there are blank placeable spots where you could certainly throw a sawmill down if you fat felt the absolute necessity to go that route. So, what else do we see? Well, we've got all kinds of uh, various factories up here. Uh, these greenhouses, no, they're not functional. They don't have a spot for uh, water and poop. There's where we sell our eggs. Excellent. And here is the spinnery. Lovely. There's the sail point right between them. And then we have the town factory, another sail point, which would be this guy. Dee -dee 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 with a grain sale there. And I believe I saw a manure sale yeah, back here. So there you are. A handy dandy. Oh, and another egg sale place because you can never have enough places to sell eggs. But, well, that's been my experience. I don't know. Oop, oop, I'm sorry. I didn't even look behind me there, OJ. Not the person you want to upset. I know, he's innocent, but... So, while we're down here, let's uh, zip on past them yet again and go have a wee visit for our first set of critters. The ever-impressive Why Have You Got Such a Long Face Cows. Here we go. The cow buyer in all its glory. And it is quite a nice little thing. Obviously set up for large amounts of animals. I have noticed that. Um, all of the animal yards are quite big. Like, comparatively. You know, this is much larger than what we've got on Pine Cove, for instance. Which is a much, much bigger map. But it's got all the usual amenities. I would assume this is your milk sale point. Well, milk fill, as it were. We obviously have our slurry here. Our solid waste here. And then we've got our silage clamp back here. Ah, uh, there we are. Turn the HUD on. And of course, just just for good measure, a gold nugget. Alrighty. Let's have a look at the beasties themselves. Make sure we have no flying cattle or buried up to their necks or static cow disease or, you know, always good to check your, uh, your herd as well. And they seem to be doing quite nicely. You gotta watch them black cows, they can be mean. Yeah. Even their, uh, their little wander about meadow is just massive. So I'm thinking from the size of the fields compared to the size of the critters, this might be a little bit more of a, uh, you know, critter designed map. So, there you are. All the standard uh, standard amenities you expect to find at your cow buyer. So, but you could easily raise a fairly large flock of cows here on uh, on this premises, let me tell you. Alright. 
moving right along. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be one of those kind of map reviews, folks. Let's uh, see if it behooves us to go and check out the shop. Okay, I'm sorry. We're, we're done. No more cow jokes. <laughs> but wait till we get to the sheep. Okay. Now, around here somewhere is uh, one of our favorite and most used places, the shop. Oh, and by the way, there is no reset here. There's another of those, uh, you know, hey, I have this sawmill that's looking for a home or, you know, this vegetable factory or whatever. There's a placeable spot over the wall, So what I'm saying. So here we are, our vehicle shop, that place that we all love to spend a good deal of time sorting through the various connectors so there you are and again if you click reset your vehicle example clickety clickety click uh, reset yes okay yeah <laughs> here she be so just so you know in advance, I you know with a lot of people that's a bit of a stickler. They much prefer to, I mean, I do too, but not to the point that I care that much. Um, you know, prefer that the stuff actually resets to the farm. It certainly makes it easier. At least your initial setup is certainly a lot easier. But as you can see, we're not a long way from our farm. It's right where it says farm barn. So... With that said, fasten seat belts. Oh, tension belts. Okay, well, that I can understand. Let's head. Uh, now, we'll go out to the main road and follow down that way, I think. Alright, we've checked out the pub, the spinnery, all of those places. Excellent. Quite the, uh, quite the town, eh? Rather nice again. Okay, uh, yeah, we'll go all the way down. And we'll have a look at the rail yard and the baga bunker. There we go. Another little bit of townage. And... Uh, let's go to the railroad first, shall we? There's a canal system. Well, as you can see, there's a major water feature that crosses the map from end to end. So that's one thing you will have to watch out for is you don't end up on the, uh, the wrong side of that at the wrong time. So there's our rail yard, and it is pretty much what you'd expect missed the entryway unfortunately so let's get past this fellow and pretend we're doing things right oh do not enter well that's okay <laughs> so there you are there's the rail yard there's your tip back here and I assume this is where you're supposed to actually come into it ta-da that's a nice meadow eh check that out that's enough gra grass to keep your cows going Okay, I actually want to go t'other direction here. So. There's another of those uh, spots. See? And they are a decent size, you know? You could uh, certainly put something here. Indeed. All right, let's head across the tracks one more time and uh, see if we can't make it out to that bunker. Dee -dee -dee -dee. There we go. The B G A. And the entrance is anybody's guess. Ah, there it is. La 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 la. Brrr. 
Hedges, no collision. Yay! <laughs> Even I could work here. Ah, okay, I kind of thought that was the way in. Uh, here we go. It is. So. Alright, well, there you are. Must have front loader or ramp. There's the digesters. Lots of biggins for the... Uh, I know. Even though I'm not probably ever coming back here. Um, <laughs> yeah, I still collect the nuggets. Okay, digestate. Excellent. And then, of course, we have our bunkers or clamps, I guess is the proper name. Hmm. All right. So again, fairly bog-standard BGA, but certainly functional, and nice and big. And here I see, rather than allowing you the space to turn around, they've actually given you a nice area that you can turn around at the end. So that really helps. Um, there's nothing worse than these really narrow clamps like this that actually have a back wall. So you're forced to back into them and then try and haul your kit back over the hump you've made. <laughs> yep. Don't make life easy in this part of the world, I tell you. So now, I think we need to uh, find a way across the canal. And as you can see, that's not that easy. There's not a lot of crossing points. See? far fewer than you might imagine, to be honest. There's the uh, farm, and here's a crossing point. All right. Uh, I guess since we're all the way up here, let's go and have a look at... See, there's the lake. It's just gorgeous, eh? That's uh, Lakeside Mill just across the water, aptly named. Alright, uh, Hillside Grains, okay, that's not what I'm after. Uh, D, 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 D. The roadway here is a little bit, um, no, nope, that won't get me there. A little bit of complex. I am actually heading for the cows. Or pigs, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, no wonder I couldn't find my way there. I don't know what the heck they are. Alright, there's hillside grains. And again, a tip point for just about all of your crops. Now we'll head up to Piggy Piggy Land. Yeah, this long straightaway, we'll actually get to open this truck up. Huh. Apparently not. I know she'll do 160, but we'll only hit 120 going up there. Okay. Follow it around. Through the hairpin. You see nuggets laying all over the side of the road. <laughs> it's like, hmm, look at this big chunk of gold. <laughs> Boy, oh boy. I'll tell you, if that was real life, this is where I'd live. Here we go. Off to piggy piggy lane. You see what I mean? This is um, also a very large facility. Right? I mean, we got piggies for miles here. Again, good storage. Nice to see because there is stuff you want to leave a you know, a water tanker, and you want to leave, uh, you know, maybe a small truck for driving feed around, and uh, definitely something like uh, a skid steer or a small front loader for pushing the poop and cleaning the troughs. So here we go. Liquid, solid, and pig. Woohoo! Here they are. You see what I mean? Like, even here, I mean, they've got like a quarter-mile racetrack they can run around here to keep them fit. So... Very, very nice facility. I like these spotted pigs. <laughs> They're funny-looking characters. 
<clears throat> oh, black pig, look out. Moo. And see, I find pretending to be a cow allows them to uh, feel quite at home with you. All right, now, that is the piggy land. As you can see, I have purchased a couple of pigs just to show that they are not floating, flying, or in any other way, you know, just weird. All right. With that said, we are going to head down to the opposite corner of the map. Back through the hairpins, the chicanes, the slaloms. But here's a, a really good example of what I mean by this. It's just a darn pretty map. You know, this is the kind of... Uh, viewpoint that in real life you would actually stop at you know what i mean and have a look so there you are most definitely um you know the different layers this pretty little valley down below i think something on my shoe has done a really nice job of this it seems steady i'm not getting you know turn one direction and get all kinds of weird frame dips turn the other direction and everything's fine no, that doesn't seem to really be happening here. So, very nice to see. Hmm. Apparently just a piece of... Uh... Oh, alright. We are now... This This is our field. Well, this isn't our field, obviously. This is where we can store all of the gear to work on our one field, which is this one. So, I mean gotta give them one thing it's not like they cheaped out when they gave us a field this is a big field you know not the biggest on the map by any means but it's certainly not a bad start you could make a dollar or two here and start your way up in the world of farming so not bad not bad at all and it does still look a little bit rough cut you know it's not 90 degree edges and you know knife straight and blah 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 so look good good on him yeah. kept them to the point where they could be run by a hired worker but they don't look like they were drawn by an architect so very nicely done so there we are just sort of a uh, an extra little bit of help by your first field yeah i've lost my truck what do you think ah <laughs> oh, there it is hello truck Alrighty. And with that, we shall continue. Once again, down past hill, hillside grains. Obviously, here's our tip point. And here's where we depart. <laughs> Yeah, I know, there's just not a lot to say about these tip points. And that's okay, too. Alright, let's, uh... Let's just take that down to a more minimalistic view, shall we? Very, very nice map. Okay. Now, let's get ourselves across here. And, let's just plunk her right here for a moment. So, we have another of the, uh, <laughs> candy. <laughs> We have another spot here for a placeable. This one's huge. Wow. You could put an entire factory down there. Here is our chickens. <laughs> right on. Give them a big old enameled bowl to drink their water out of. Good morning, ladies. Well, and gentlemen. Whoop. Watch out for them dandelion fluffers. Hey, buddy. Good boy. All right, pretty fancy little white picket fence for you. Jeez, spoiled chickens, I'll tell you. And 
just out behind the chickens, we have the sheep. Oh, what's this? Wool pellets. Oh, okay, that's where the wool pellets go. So, yeah, we've got this beautiful, huge space down here. For the placeables. And then right around the corner. Ha! I can hear the building manager out there shoveling. Woke up this morning to find we had a couple inches of snow on the ground. Um, alright, I'm just going to jump the fence. I'm tired of walking around. There we are. Here's our sheep. Hello, woolly crunchies. Ooh, you a nice sheep. Black sheep are fine. So, yeah. And again, all the usual amenities. Mm hmm. And, yeah. None of them are flying, floating, or living on the tops of mountains. So, he's all good. <coughs> and that, my friends, pretty much covers it. A very simple map, but uh, lots of possibilities. As I say, there are a bunch of things or a bunch of areas designated for placeables. You've got many, many, many fields. So, and yeah, it is absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So, it is available in the beta section of the Mod Hub, if you'd care to check it out for yourselves. But I think that's, uh, there we are. 10 nuggets. <laughs> I think that's going to do it for me. Really hope everybody enjoyed. There's another nugget. Everybody enjoyed our little map review. It's, uh, yeah, one of the prettiest, whoop, look out. <laughs> one of the prettiest maps I've seen in a while. So, till next time, folks, remember to hit that like button on your way out. Subscribe if you haven't yet subscribed. And, uh, well, above all, take care of each other, folks. And ciao for now. Oh, this is animal sales. <laughs>